Sit. Sit. This piece, this sequence, frame sequence, was hanging in Glenn Friedman's uh, parents' house. He said, I was going through my stuff, my mom's throwing some stuff away. I have the sequence of you doing, you know, one of the first Caballeros in 1980, do you want it? I'm like, yeah, bro. That Lance Mountain painting is based off of this photo. These photographs were shot by Glenn Friedman. These are um, showcased in his, uh, uh, book that he has of all those famous photographs and but this is the original proof sheet yeah so this is what I drew for the cab 5 this is the original um, idea that I had that came to life I was biting in a costin back in the day so the story behind that board it's a recreation of an original deck that I had in 1980 only six of those were produced I had a couple Tony Hawk has one I have photos of Tony Hawk writing that same board with that same colorway. And there was a guy who's a Pau Peralta collector had actually handmade one. I'm like, dude, can you make me one? So he ended up uh, making that deck for me. And I'm like, man, I, I should actually make a whole complete setup. That's a pretty cool thing. My mom saved this, this t-shirt. So this is one of my oldest sponsored t-shirts that I have. This is before I even met Stacey Peralta from, from Pau Peralta. This was uh, given to me in 1978. And I got on the team, and when you got on the team, you got a special skate park shirt with your name on it. The way that I acquired this 720 arcade game was Atari approached me and said, hey, we're designing a video game for the arcade, and, and we want to build a ramp, so can you have sessions and skate while we have the video cameras rolling? Up north, it rained a lot, so it was kind of cool having an indoor area with a vert ramp. And I didn't think anything of it, but when the game came out, um, they approached me and said, hey, can you do an ad for us in Thrasher Magazine? I said, yeah, like, what do you want me to do? He's like, just, just take a photo of you standing next to a game. So I ended up doing that. We got a full page ad and they're like, what do you want for the ad? I go, how about one of those games? So I've, ha I've had this game since like 1986. Corey O'Brien and Jeff Kendall, high scores. <laughs> so rad, Some guy in Indonesia took a pair of my shoes, copied each pattern with snake skin, and he put them all back together. That's one of a kind pair. So those red ones that are showcased right there are part of my 20 year anniversary. Was able to pick four different artists to do collaborations with my shoes. And one of the artists that I wanted to choose was Court Johnson from PAL, and it didn't work out. I ended up just telling uh, court, okay, never mind. I'll just do it myself. But it worked out great because the fact that he wasn't able to do that for me, I put it, I put it upon myself, and now I've used that image and that iconic figure um, on different collaborations for other stuff. John Matoya made that diorama, posted on Instagram, and I made a joke about giving him my address so he could send it to me. And he's all, you want that? I'm like, yeah. So I traded him a signature skateboard for that. Actually, right above the uh, piano is a wood-burned board that he did of mine. And here's kind of cool. This is a collaboration with a, uh, a company called Medicom. What is his name? Yasuki. And uh, it's a cab vinyl character with half cabs. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then uh, my new character... Um, and the new Tony Hawk Pro Skaters 1 and 2, they just revamped. Um, I'm dressed up in this, this outfit. This is one of the very first Cab Dragon uh, toys made in Japan by a company called Secret Base and Super 7 from San Francisco. Um, little Cab Dragon with a removable mask, vinyl figure. <laughs> just, just so cool, you know, collecting action figures my whole life and then all of a sudden becoming one. Skating and collecting toys keeps you young.